Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the orchestrator series with UiPath and in this video I am going to talk about an important concept which is called the folders versus the tenants. Now as we understand that UiPath has now moved from the concept of environments and now everything you see is on the concept of tenants and the folders. And I was getting a continuous questions in my comments, in my email, over my Instagram that yes, we are seeing tenant and we are not very clear on this topic, right? So today in this video, we are going to explore the concept of tenant and the folders. In this sections, we are going to discuss about the relationship between a tenant and a folder. To better understand this, we are anyways going to see it in the orchestrator. But first, let me give you an example so that we all understand what I mean. Okay. So let's say there is a company. Okay. You can treat it as any big company. Okay. Now, Every company has some departments, right? So I can have finance department, I can have sales, I can have HR, I can have IT, right? So there is a company and that company has different, different departments, okay? Now, this company decided that they want to do some automation projects, okay? So what would happen? The finance guys would have project or I would say the finance team would have projects which are related to payroll, claims reimbursement now there is a team which is called a sales team they wanted to do the automation but that would be different right they won't do the payroll claims and reimbursement automation for the sales teams it would be more related to the product sales the automation related to the marketing similarly i have a third vertical or a third team which is called hr that is dealing with employee onboarding and offer letters right so company is one it has three different departments three different team and three different teams has separate different different kinds of process and automation one question arises should i keep all the automation in a single folder and let everybody see everything or it would be better to segregate the process finance separate sales separate hr separate so that way i would have segregation which one would be better obviously the second one because if i put everything in a single folder all the assets i mix up everything first thing it is difficult to manage second thing there would be some data which the finance guys does not want to share with the HR processes. The HR would have some automation, some output of the automation, some assets which they don't want to share with the sales. So it is always better to segregate them. Whenever the company is implementing the automation, they will segregate everything. There would be some data which would be always shared among the departments. So for example, there are some assets which is storing information about the company. There are some assets which are storing information about the company founders. There are some assets which are common to all of this, right? So it's not always necessary that the data has to be segregated. If there are some data which has to be common, we can always have provisions in orchestrator to share the data, right? So I hope you understand this company structure. Now, if the same structure I try to replicate in the orchestrator, so I can say that the tenant is the company. Okay. The tenant is the company and inside the company, I have created finance folder, sales folder and HR folder, which means that all the finance automation would now be in this folder all the sales automation would be in this folder and all the hr automation would be in this folder right so the same structure which a company was following i replicated the same in the tenant and the folder structure right so tenant becomes your company and these are the different different folders right 
Now, as I have previously also mentioned, there would be some data which we can share across the folders, right? I can share some of the data from finance to sales, some data from sales to HR. That is also possible, right? So this is how you can differentiate between a tenant and a folder. Okay. Now, I also want to give you one more view of tenant versus folder in a different way. Okay. Typically, the production, the development and the testing, all these are separate, separate environments, right? When I say production, testing and development, development simply means an environment which the developers are using. Testing simply means an orchestrator which the testing testers are using and production is the live. In an ideal scenario, what would happen? You would have separate orchestrator for development, separate for testing, separate for production. But then there are some clients or some customer who only have one orchestrator. So what they do is they create a separate tenant for development. They create a separate testing tenant and then they create a separate tenant for production. So now here we can see that in this example, the difference or I would say the bifurcation of the tenant and folder is done environment wise. In the previous example, it was done based on the company's department. Here it is done environment wise, right? So now here one tenant is your development. One tenant is for the testing and there is a separate tenant, which is for production. Now in the tenant, you have separate folders like HR finance IT for the testing. You have HR finance IT and for the production, you have HR finance IT. Right. So that is also one lookout of looking at the tenant and the folders. OK, so you just need to remember that tenant is the main, I would say, parent and this it can have separate, separate folders. Let's try to see the same thing in orchestrator. OK, so I am back to my browser. I have bookmarked this. So I'll go here and I click on it. You guys can always type cloud.uipa.com and that should redirect to the orchestrator. Okay, so I am into my orchestrator and now as you can see here in the top, I have the tenant, right? Now, which tenant is this? This is the default tenant. Okay, so this is the default tenant inside this tenant. I have one, two folders. The first folder is my workspace, which is by default created. I will we'll talk about this also and then I have something which is called shared, right? So as of now, I if I ask you what is the tenant? This is the tenant which is at the top. This is the default tenant and inside the tenant I have one and two folders. Tomorrow, if my company grows and if I want to create separate folders, let's say I want to create it company wise or I want to create it environment wise. I simply go to the tenant at the top and in the tenant, you see you have this option which is called folder. And here you have an option to create the folders, right? As of now, I only have one folder which was by default created. You always has this option which is saying that new folders and you can create a new folders. All of that we would see in a step by step manner, right? But as of now, I hope now you understand this is a tenant. The name of the tenant is called a default tenant. You can think it as the parent and inside that we have these two subfolders. My workspace is also very important why it is created and how do you utilize it? That also we are going to discuss in the upcoming sessions, right? So as of now, this is where the tenant is and these are the folders and you can always manage the folders at this level. OK, so this is how it will look into the orchestrator, right? If you are looking at this tutorial, I would like you to go to your orchestrator and just see the tenant. And then here you would have an option which is called folders. We have discussed the similarities or I would say the relationship between the tenant and the folders tenant at the top and inside we have something which is called the folders. Now, if somebody asks you, what is the difference between a tenant and folders, right? What exactly is the difference? This is the difference, right? Tenant are meant to replicate the organizational hierarchies, right? Tenant are meant to replicate the organizational hierarchies. 
वट एवर यू डू विद ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे आर क्रिएटेड एट द टेनेंट लेवल राइट सेम लाइक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हर आर की यू कैन हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टेनेंट वेयर एज फोल्डर्स आर द सब डिविजन ऑफ टेनेंट्स फोल्डर्स आर सब डिविजन ऑफ टेनेंट्स राइट प्लीज टेक सम टाइम and digest this information okay tenant are meant to replicate the organization hierarchy within the same instance of orchestrator one orchestrator can have multiple tenants okay tenants are clearly isolated from one another right tenants do not share any data with anyone whereas folders can share the data with one another i am again repeating tenants are meant to replicate the organization hierarchies whereas folders are the sub division of tenants one tenants can have multiple folders okay and folders can share the data among themselves so this is how the tenant differentiate from the folders now before proceeding to tenant versus the folder entities i quickly want to announce something about a ui path orchestrator fundamental course which i have created on the graphy.com and it is a paid course and as of now i think there is some discount which you are getting you can just check the website for more details right so in case you are someone who is looking to understand the orchestrator fundamental from details just scroll down and you would see all the modules which are covered in that course including the environment setup key functions concept of execution attended unattended access groups how do you work with jobs logging triggers audits alerts and monitoring tab right so this is to set up your fundamentals of orchestrator in ui path right so in case you are interested please go ahead and you can explore this course and at the end definitely you are also going to get a certificate from this course as well right so i'll leave the link in the description for your reference next i want to discuss about the entities right when i say entities an orchestrator has many things right it has machines it has packages it has folders it has credential webhooks and a lot of things now there are some thing which are specific to tenant and then there are some thing which are specific to the folders so the things which are restricted or i would say applicable to the tenant are called the tenant entities and the things which are applicable or restricted to folders are called the folder entities okay and you no need to remember this right if you understand the concept you would be automatically able to relate right when i say tenant i am talking about a larger group right so robots robot simply means the attended or the unattended robot right they are the tenant entities that means that they can be allocated to multiple folders right so there is a robot which i have purchased from ui path i have the license i have the robot i can use it in multiple folders and that is why robot is at a tenant entity okay i will show you this in the live orchestrator as well but let's first try to understand why exactly robot is coming here right the next thing is packages packages are published to the orchestrator feeds right so whenever you are publishing a package from ui path orchestrator you get an option whether you want to share it to the tenant or you want to share it to the folder right if a package is shared at a tenant level then it would be at a tenant entity if it is at the folder so it would be at a folder level okay there is one important thing which you need to remember here and that would make sense if a package is sent at a tenant level then it can be used in any of the folder okay but if a package is sent at the folder level it cannot be used in the other folders it is like that if i send it to the parent all the child would have access but if i send specifically to a child folder or i would say specifically a folder other folders would not have access to it okay and that is what is mentioned in these two pointers the third thing is users both the human users and the robots are identified at ten tenant level machine is an orchestrator entity okay these are the orchestrator entities corresponding to the workstation where human users or the robot would work right 
whenever i say that the robot is working where would the robot work so let's say i am working as a developer i coded the automation on my laptop my personal laptop now when the automation is working on production in an unattended mode i cannot give my computer to the client right and i cannot wait for that orchestrator to run on my computer i would require a separate machine i would require a separate computer and that machine that computer is an orchestrator entity and is available at the tenant okay licenses licenses exist at the tenant level what is licenses every orchestrator has a set of licenses right ui path has a community edition and then ui path also has an enterprise edition so all the licenses everything are managed at the tenant level and then they are further distributed to the users and consumed by the machines right but license is also a tenant entity the last thing is webhooks orchestrator also allow you to communicate with orchestrator with the help of apis which means that you can directly communicate with any other different application be it a dot net be it a java application any application which can use api orchestrator allows webhooks for them webhooks are also mapped at the tenant level right where are all this located let me quickly show it in the live orchestrator so i am back into my orchestrator and as you can see i'll click on this button which is the tenant the first thing here you see is the robots right so as of now i only have one robot this is an attended robot so robot is at the tenant level next is the folders definitely we are managing the folders so that would at the tenant level machines all the computers all the laptops are managed at the tenant level okay then we have the packages webhooks this is where you create the webhook next is the licenses so we are using the community licenses right so ui path provides us the testing it has got the unattended and the attended license right now which user i need to give this which folder i want to give this license to so all the license management happens at the tenant level right alerts and then settings right so you could relate that anything which is related to the machine packages webhooks licenses robots are at the tenant level right at the parent level at the top you see the same screenshot right robot folders monitoring manage access all of this is available at the tenant level and that's why these are known as the tenant entities okay if i move one step down now we are talking about the folders so inside the tenant we can have multiple folders right so i created one folder for sales i created one folder for hr now sales has different automations hr has different automations right now you would see that the process and the jobs right process and the jobs what is a process when a package nuget package is assigned to a folder it's called a process right we talked about in the definition process and jobs are the folder entities package it depends on the feed configuration right how do you have fed it there is something which is a concept of assets asset is used to store a global value and assets are a folder level entities okay we'll talk about assets process job in detail but as of now just remember that asset is a folder level then we have something which is called storage bucket which act as a bucket for storing the files during the automation project and that is also a folder level entity queues and triggers we are going to see in detail in the upcoming session so as of now just remember that queues and triggers triggers is same like setting up an alarm right all these are at the folder level at the top you see the screenshot this is at the folder level if i have to map the same thing into the orchestrator let me show that as well so this was the tenant inside the tenant i have this folder which is called a shared folder and you see in the folder i have the process assets queues triggers users right these are all the folder level entities right so that is how you differentiate between the folder and the tenant level entities